Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the elite item known as the Steel Shade Armet. The Steel Shade Armet it may not be the best item in the game, but it does have some interesting mechanics, and uh, I think its main failing is just that there's so much stiff opposition for this particular helmet. Uh, there's so many good choices, you know, around level 62 and beyond, that uh, it definitely makes a Steel Shade Armat look a little less attractive in a lot of people's eyes. But let's go over it together and uh, we'll talk about what it could be good for and what it uh, probably isn't good for. So right off the bat, you'll notice that it has an extremely high amount of defense of 345. Um, that is actually a lot higher than most helmets get to. Uh, we also have a relatively decent strength requirement of 109. It's not low, but it's not high either, and most people have 109 defense to spare. Um, we also have a required level of level 62. Now, um, the level 62 requirement on this is actually kind of low for an elite item, and it makes me want to double check to make sure this is actually an elite item. Yes, it is. And um, it, uh, it does actually posture it a little bit more toward mid game than, uh, than end game. So you could potentially utilize this before you actually got into endgame territory. Um, it does have 8% uh, mana steal on it, which unfortunately varies from 4 to 8%, which means a lot of times when you find this, it ends up being in a pretty crappy condition. 8% mana steal is kind of attractive and could potentially replace a ring or, or uh, an amulet or something that you might be using that has mana steal on it, but 4% um, not so much. Uh, we also have a pretty decent amount of defense bonus on here of 130%, um, which does vary, unfortunately, by 100 by 30%, so it's 100 to 130%. Uh, we also have another very nice effect on here of Replenish Life. Now, um, let me see if I can show you this. Um, so you notice I have 6,204, and I'm replenishing about, what, 1 per second? Looks like about 1 per second. Um, and if I throw this Steel Shade on... Um, you will notice that now I suddenly start regenerating about, I want to say it's like 2 or 3, maybe like 2.5 per second. Um, definitely a hell of a lot better, and you can see my HP is just chunking up now, uh, which is certainly very nice. And of course you could stack this with other items as far as regeneration goes. Now, um, it does vary though, unfortunately a ton from 10 to 18, and this means that a lot of the times you'll find it in poor condition. Um, and then we also have another very interesting effect on here of Fire Absorption. So uh, the fire absorption is from 5 to 11, and uh, a very big, big variable there, in my opinion, uh, between 5 to 11. And if you did find one, for instance, that was, like, you know, in a perfect condition, like, we, as you see it now, um, it's actually not a half-bad helmet to wear for defensive purposes. I mean, it has very high defense. Uh, it has a very nice amount of replenished life, as well as a very nice defensive fire absorption. But it really lacks anything special that you would choose over other items. You know, like for instance, um, let's say for instance you wanted to utilize um, an Andariel's Visage or um, a Rock Stopper for the DR or uh, you know Harlequin Quest Crest for the uh, for the Magic Find and the DR. I mean, there's tons of different options that have better effects than this. Um, and while it does seem to do what it's trying to do, which I think is, is, is important to note here, um, it just doesn't offer anything super special over top of other choices. Um, in fact, there are other Man of Steel helmets that you could use in its place, like for instance Vampire's Gaze, uh, or maybe even Talrosh's Roger Crest, which both have Mana Leech and Life Leech. Um, so just having 8% mana leech isn't good enough. Just having the replenished life isn't good enough. And just having the fire absorption isn't good enough. But all of them together add up to still not good enough, <laughs> unfortunately. And, uh, and, and if they had swapped it from mana leech to life leech, it could have been a very interesting helmet to put on a mercenary. But um, as it is right now, it really kind of is pointed at a character who's going to be in melee combat which is already restricting it to one particular kind of niche. Um, so we're, we're, we're literally looking at a helmet that's either melee or ranged, and this helmet would be more directed toward a melee character than a ranged character uh, because of the replenished lives, the fire absorption, and the massive amount of defense. 
and your melee characters are going to want to gravitate more towards something else. Um, like barbarians are going to gravitate toward like Ariat's face, and uh, paladins are going to try to gravitate more towards something that's going to help out their particular character, like maybe a G face or any other kind of thing. And uh, and so the steel shade armor really fails to offer anything ridiculously good for what it's you know for in terms of like everything else that you have uh, offered to you and it's such a late game item that even a lot of the nightmare level unique helmets are competing with this particular item um, so not only does it have competition from the elite helmets it also has competition from the nightmare helmets um, and even some of the i hate to say this but even some of the normal helmets are in competition with this particular helmet um, and the truth of the matter is is that with the exception to the very nice defense bonus um, it really doesn't have a whole lot to offer. Um, speaking of defense bonus, the ethereal version has 517 defense, which is pretty sexy, um, and only 99 strength requirement. Now, I can't for the life of me um, think of any character that would utilize this over other options. Um, I even recently built a character that was based around uh, regeneration. Um, I called him... Um, <laughs> oh god, his, his name was so stupid. Um, he was uh, Badgerine of the Starman, uh, in kind of a play on words of Wolverine of the X-Men. But um, he used Replenish Life equipment, and um, it was actually better to use a Crown of Ages with um, two... I think I can't remember which, which rune it was that had the regeneration on it uh, for the life of me. Um, Dole Rune? I think it was Dole Rune. I put two Dole Runes and a Crown of Ages and got more regeneration uh, than the Steel Shade Armet was giving at plus 18. Um, and the reason why is because not only does, do I get the plus regeneration from the Dole Runes, but I also get the plus the skills from the Crown of Ages and the other effects. And the plus the skills helps out Prayer, which also, in effect, helps out my regeneration on that particular character. So even in the category, even in the one category that this particular helmet should potentially be excelling, which is the Replenished Life, which seems to be its main purpose, um, it fails in, which is really quite sad. Um, I feel like they need to bump up the Replenished Life on this helmet by quite a bit to make it into a more attractive option as far as a regeneration helmet goes. And they really need to give it a second effect, whether it be um, maybe a second socket or uh, some physical damage reduction, or, uh, I mean, it seems to be a very defensive helmet, and I don't really see any reason why they couldn't just put a couple more defensive mechanics on it to make it stand out as a defensive choice. Um, defensive helmets don't generally tend to be picked because people tend to prefer offensive choices, but at least make it stand out as a defensive choice. Um, let's take a look and see on Silo's pen and see where we could potentially find this item if we wanted to get our hands on our, on a steel shade armet. And, uh, not that you necessarily might want to, but, um, it is part of the videos. <laughs> it is part of my videos. Now, because this is a sort of an end game item, I'm going to do about 200% magic find, um, I feel like that's fair with this particular item since it is level 62. And uh, there we go. Here is Silo's pen. And we're going to do bosses first, sort them by probability. We're going to ignore the quest flags as always. And it does look like Hell Difficulty 1 in 1457 is our best chance, with Bale coming close behind at 1471. Um, Mephisto's not bad either at 1 in 5,012. Uh, pretty decent choices all around there for trying to find yourself one if you wanted to get one. Uh, as far as super uniques go, we got some pretty crappy probabilities at 1 in 11,000, 13,000, 16,000. It just gets worse from there. Um, Neolithac is an option at 1 in 11,353. And um, as far as like repeatable, very easy to farm monsters... I mean, Storm Tree, Corpse Fire, those are both very easy to get to, very easy to farm. Um, Grand Visor of Chaos, Infector of Souls, Lord Deceased, these are also very easy to find. Uh, obviously, if you're killing Diablo and you're trying to farm it that way, then obviously you've got a really good choice. Uh, you got three monsters that could potentially drop it, and then you get Diablo, who also could potentially drop it. Um, even Eldritch, Shank, Doc Farron, Fire Eye, Cold Crow, Dark Elder, Beetle Burst. 
Pendle skin. I mean, they all can drop it. It's just really terrible chances. So, I mean, all around, it doesn't really seem like you're going to have too much of an issue finding it. But, um, like, you don't necessarily have to specifically target farm for it. It does seem like it's going to drop from a large number of monsters in Hell Difficulty. <sighs> I don't really know what to think about the Steel Shade Armet. Um, I don't want to necessarily say it's a bad item. But I do want to say that it is a bad item in re relativeness. In relativity. In relativity, that's the correct term. It's a bad item in relativity to all the other choices that you have available to you. Now maybe if you were playing a solo self-found character and you just never came across a better helmet. Um, and this was the helmet that you found. Then yeah, I could totally see that. But judging by the probability drop chances. The fact that this only drops in hell difficulty. Um, and only from higher level hell difficulty monsters. I just can't necessarily see this ever being an, a, a item that you're going to find before other choices. Um, you're probably going to find something else first. Whether it's a G-Face, whether it's a Vamp Gaze, whether it's an Andariel's Visage, uh, whether it is a, um, a Harlequin Crest Shaco, a Peasant's Crown. I mean, there are tons of different options in the game that could potentially fall before this one and would probably make better choices for your character. Uh, so all in all, I think a pretty terrible item that needs a little bit of a revamp. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when we are talking about uh, items that are not particularly that good. And uh, as always, uh, if you want to keep watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button.